The new evidence from a death penalty trial is being released, and it's deeply disturbing. Prosecutors say a video shows a man walking into a Jacksonville Golden Corral restaurant before police say he set his girlfriend on fire. Carol Demons died three weeks after the October attack. The 56-year-old mother was working at that restaurant's bakery at the time. Tonight, Daryl Whipple is in jail. He's charged with first-degree murder. Lindsey Gardner is breaking down the evidence that prosecutors will show the jury trying to convince them that Whipple should be executed. Lindsey? Well, Kent, this new evidence that we obtained is unsettling for her family and for all of us as journalists and people. It is truly unimaginable the pain that Carol Dimmons suffered. Carol Dimmons started her day baking hard at work. She was working to serve families and children of Jacksonville at this Golden Corral on the west side. Dimmons never could have known as she baked someone was coming to kill her. Prosecutors say this video shows her boyfriend, Daryl Whipple, walking in past families armed with a knife, a lighter, and a Gatorade bottle. We later learned it was filled with accelerant. The man was calm and calculated as he walked up to Dimmons and committed the unthinkable, pouring accelerant all over her and lighting her hair on fire. You can see in the lobby this mother pulling her children back from the flame she could see inside as customers ran and frantic 911 calls rolled in. Okay, ma'am. Golden Crown. What is going on? I can't understand you, ma'am. A man on fire. A lady is on fire. How did he set her on fire? He he legit just came over and had a a lighter and he set her on fire. Now, now he's, he has a knife and he's in a row. As police moved in to arrest Whipple, who waited outside on a sidewalk, they found this knife nearby. Inside, that Gatorade bottle on the ground and Dimmons burned clothing. Her name tag also charred, a searing reminder of the hardworking, innocent woman who prosecutors say Whipple murdered in cold blood. Dimmons was tragically burned on 65% of her body, mostly third-degree burns to her stomach, her face, and her head. In the end, it was just too much for her to overcome. Whipple did have a domestic violence history involving both Dimmons and an ex-girlfriend. The ex-girlfriend had a restraining order out against him. Dimmons herself had called police on him last year, but she later dropped those charges. Mary.